Hi everyone, I'm Mackenzie and I am a youth services librarian with the Beaverton City Library, normally at Murray Shoals. And today I'm at home and I'm going to show you a STEM activity that you can do with supplies that you probably have at home. So just a reminder, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And today's challenge is called Magic Magnets. Make a paper clip float in the air without touching it. All right, time to get your supplies. Let's see what we need. First off, we need magnets. So I grabbed a few off my fridge, different kinds of magnets. So some have the round magnet on the back, some like this one have just like flat magnet on the back. And you will need paper clips and some tape of your choice, some craft sticks, some thread, and Legos! All right, so now is about a great time to go get your supplies. And if you're back, I have a hint for you. Your hint says, test the magnet with the paper clip. Do they have to be touching to be attracted to each other? Hmm. Great question. So now's about the time where you want to make a hypothesis and maybe test out a few different things with the supplies that you have. Um, if something doesn't work, try something else. If them, something does work, see what you can do to make it, um, to improve on it. Now, what's the science behind this? What's going on? Magnets attract metal. Since paper clips are made of metal or metal coated in vinyl, they are attractive to magnets. Magnets are surrounded by an invisible magnetic field. This means that a magnet can affect things that are close to but not touching it. Weak magnets have small magnetic fields, fields, and strong magnets have larger magnetic fields. Even Earth has a magnetic field. All right, as always, I do have some extension activities that cover science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and you'll see why I grabbed a few different magnets. So first of all, science. Use a magnet to test which items are magnetic. Could you make other items float? So this is a great one where you might grab a bunch of different things around your house, grab your magnet, travel around, see what it's attracted to, see what it's not attracted to. Um, go on a little like magnetic scavenger hunt around home. T for technology. Try different shapes and strengths of magnets. How do they change your design for your science experiment that you just did? E for engineering. Magnets can be useful like in purses and shower curtains. Um, design a product that uses magnets to solve a problem. A for art. Use what you learned to make a magic trick. And M for math. How far away can the magnet get from the paper clip before it falls down? Try different magnets and record your findings in a chart. So even you can have a chart for just one magnet or you can have a chart that shows a whole bunch of different magnets. All right. So that is your STEM challenge for the day. Again, magic magnets. Thank you everyone and I will see you again. Bye.